out the yellow jacket, John. They're not a friendly type. I can see my Yeah. 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 Carry the free Palestine banner, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to identify that lady because that's the lady, the kind lady that's put me up over the weekend so that I can uh, remain close to, uh, to this um, demonstration and be here on time uh, and film it. I'm absolutely delighted. I had a lovely sleep last night and uh, fantastic chili and chili and rice when I arrived. Um, and it's, it's been great. I'm talking to the, talking to the, 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 the working general public. Kensington High Street, and uh, we're keeping calm, and we're free in Palestine. Um, just opposite TK Maxx, if you come out of Kensington uh, Tube Station, so right, keep walking, you won't miss this crowd. Um, it's getting bigger by the minute, and uh, we've, now, we've now kind of uh, taken, taken a forward position on the other side of the road, making the uh, Israeli counter demo seem tiny compared to this. There's um, a good few hundred people here already, and uh, more coming. Tons of support on the roads. Um, yeah, they've given up. We can't. There's too many people over there. It's actually causing a bottleneck. So they need to be aware of that, you know. And it's like making us a cross over there, you know. Uh, it's difficult to film over there. I mean, I want to walk down the front of the barrier. So it's like you get a good. Yeah, they want now. They'll be on me like a rash as soon as I try. You know. I need to get myself a press badge. I do hope both of these broadcasts have come out. Um, I haven't had a chance to go over the last of them yet. But as soon as I reach 50% on my battery, I'm going to stop broadcasting and um, go around and meet some of the, uh, the demonstrators here and, and maybe get um, some off the camera interviews.
Here's what it is. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. He just dogs as he can. You know? Did he? He thought that's what he did. I'll bet. And now he's a leopard fool. He's got a dog. Take him away! Knock him up! He's disappeared behind the crowd now. The cops have got him, got him behind the crowd.
Messi um, towards the people stood on the side of the road. I mean, they're not even being in, impeded in any way. You know, we're, we're nowhere near them. Um, but, yeah, there's definitely a bit of a question going on here. Right. Yeah, bad temper. And you're getting it live. supporters here um, than the Israel. I've got a feeling they were paid to be here anyway. There's only about ten of them and nobody in their right mind has come out to uh, try and counter demo with what's going on here because, you know, the Israeli settlements are illegal. They are illegal and um, that's been, you know, decreed by the, hu the human rights, the United Nations and the human rights um, councils. So, yeah. I mean, everyone's got the right to be here and, and, and protest and make sure that Israel hears that um, um, Palestine will not lay down for this. Some of the strongest people I know, as, as you know, I've got friends in Palestine. And I worry daily as to whether I'm going to hear from them again on Facebook, or whether they've been blown up or run over by a tank. It's a very dangerous place to be, you know. It's uh, not like Brixton, um, Gaza, it, it, it is a, a war zone. They, my friends have described it as a war zone. I can't even tag my friends on Facebook that live in uh, Gaza or the West Bank in case the secret uh, services um, decide to, to, to target them. You know, I've been asked before not to take them. Um, so, it, it's, that just starts to show that they, uh, the immense pressure they must be under. Um, Gaza and the West Bank are a war zone. And um, now they're saying that they can't even go and pray unless they go through metal detectors. It's bollocks. The whole thing's bollocks. Israel needs to pull itself out, give the land back that it's settled on, or, uh, uh, illegally settled on, illegally occupied, and um, start again, you know, sit down and negotiate it over, see what business can be done between the two. As you can see, there's old, young, um, the elderly, the infirm, young men, old men, old women, and they're all here in support of Palestine and, and the uh, Palestinian people. Yeah. Like I said, they want to be heard from Palestine, so hopefully my friends in Gaza will be sharing this now. Um, hopefully they'll take it from my wall and share it so they can see live what is actually happening here right now. It's getting bigger, bigger and bigger. in a little while if, um, as, as, as things didn't pick up. This demo is only due to go on until 6pm uh, anyway, so I'll tell you what, I could probably run my battery out. If you don't hear from me on Facebook for an hour or two afterwards, it's because my battery's flat and I will be um, on route back to the uh, house that I'm staying in uh, to get it all charged up. But that's why I've decided to live stream today instead of video. 
um, because that way you get it as I got it, and um, it's on my wall for you guys to uh, to to, um, to view. Solidarity with Palestine today, a subject very very close to my heart. Um, so. It, it, it was the only thing to do. Still, if you can still make it down, or if you're in the area, come along and um, we're going to get a coffee afterwards nearby. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to tell you where that is before we go down. And, um, and uh, if you are in the area, come and join us for a cup of coffee.
me that there aren't enough food there. Ha. <laughs> right, well, that's um, all I'm going to do for now, and I'm going to save uh, what's left of my battery for a later broadcast if I can. Um, I hope you've enjoyed what I've brought you, and you can empathise with these people, and throw your support behind these guys. Um, that would be uh, amazing. Anyway, enough for me for now, so... Uh, I will leave you with these scenes.